hello 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 look at the crazy shadows this is cool kind of interesting all right just gonna share a little bit before i jump into some of the cards of the day so uh it's always talking about the message or perched birds like the messenger right so whatever the message is uh the tea today the yogi tea says experience will give you the power and confidence to be you wild and free um this was a beautiful a, a gift from my daughter not something i would have picked out for myself but so um when i pull signs into this there's been a lot of um well there's sagittarius but a lot of um the cancer sign energy maybe even masculine um there's been libra and taurus Gemini. Those have been like the main energies for today. It was really weird. Um, <laughs> well, it's really weird. But um, the other a song I'm gonna give y'all is "White Room" by Cream. Okay, and then the peaches, like the presidents of the United States. Man, Ugh. and peaches move into the country gonna eat a lot of peaches um there's also ugly kid joe i hate everything about you <laughs> uh i'm partying the cia war pigs killing in the name rage ants machine oh uh la bamba richie valens and brie prodigy all right, let's play my game. <laughs> I am beautiful inside and out, happier me. Um, kind of spotlighted as I looked over there on beautiful inside and out. You are beautiful, unique, and amazing. Your divine soul shines bright and allows others to see how beautiful you truly are. Also, there was some Wu-Tang popping in, triumph, and reunited. Uh, also... I came to bring the pain, hot cold from your brain. <laughs> so let's see, where shall we begin? I'm doing a torching party. I'm stepping out into something new. It's the weekend. Also some ice cube in Friday. Um, but I'm going to meet new people today. It's going to be exciting. A torching party sounds interesting, huh? It's not what you probably think. It's crafting on wood with a pen and a, yeah, and a magical tool. Meeting new people, getting out, doing something, kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. And I think that, I hope you all are doing the same, um, enjoying life. I'm gonna grab some tea leaves to, oh, what is this great personal sorrow? There's teardrops. Oh, mama said knock you out, LL Cool J. What's the sorrow? Cancer's a club. I almost saw mockery or mock, mocking. This is, okay, I pull them both in reverse. So someone will try to make you do something against your will. That's the whole killing in the name of F you. I won't do what you tell me. Mm. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Mm. So it's like someone stands up to him. And says no doesn't okay man I'm all I was like wanting to be all happy and good that's what we all want right but you gotta go with the flow of the emotions of life huh the quill and get back to the basics time to get back to the basics get back focused on your exercise your health your well-being, the lists, four-leaf clover, great and good fortune. Get back to the basics. Keeping things simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Four-leaf clover. All right. You gotta let the, the teardrops roll. Yep, the bird. The perched, waiting for news, a package or letter. Even the package. 
That's very interesting. You got a sign for it, maybe. Oh, whether, you know what I mean? Waiting for the sign. There's a signer. It's about your heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Sometimes the tears aren't just, this is sorrow, right? Pen. A heart pen, even. Wow, a gift. I, I mean, but the new job career, it came in reverse, so we'll see. What else that has to do? I guess that, that in reverse. A bull, a bully, a Taurus. Even someone wasn't pushing the sorrow over a loss. This is over loss. Taurus. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So dealing with heavy emotions of loss and sorrow, grief. Hmm. The compassion, the tears, that stuff is love too. Affection and caring. A wreath. Oh wow. There's discord among family and friends. Great worry over nothing, a well. Feeling tied down and frustrated. The key is a vacation. Oh my gosh, and we got the sexual matters again. Sex, oh, <laughs> sexual, uh, successful outcome to your problems. This kite. Hmm. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Ugh, the last video was kind of like this too. There is a successful outcome. Protection from a powerful friend. A dog. Flowers from a, a friend. Happiness. Hope. Hmm. A Taurus even. It is about spiritual growth, a friend, a two, finding out about a two-faced friend. Huh. Oh, man. Okay. It's about spiritual growth. Let's see. I'm just getting the garbage bells to see because this kind of went deep. 808. Maybe a Leo. Maybe in August something happens. About family happiness ten of cups even dealing with a taurus capricorn or virgo but taurus has been very prominent a feminine taurus there maybe someone from your family but feeling emotionally fulfilled satisfied joy we got two queens here maybe friends whatever acquaintances um libra gemini aquarius family even or friendship, love, but it was family. Huh. Weird. I'm all weird. <laughs> weird Al Yankovic party in the CIA. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm sharing that one with you. Uh, green jelly. Three little pigs. Okay, let's see. Someone who's emotionally detached and walking away. Someone who's too emotionally detached from something. From the past. Eight, eight. Oh, wow. Very specific, guys. The eights. 808, something in August, even. I saw 4th of July. That, so, cancer season as well. The communication. There's no emotionally detached um, from this communication. Mm. 
Wow, what a weird synchronicity that was. 808 on the clock and 88 is the first one to pull out. 88, maybe that's even a birth year. This could be about karma, scorpionic, uh, what goes up, seeing the infinity, emotionally detached, even from a message, from communication, from um, online, from a cancer masculine someone's like they're not communicating maybe could be also with scorpio pisces but I, i'm just telling you that's that's the way these are going i don't even have to pull these zodiac cards they are you know what i mean i still have those and i might bring them in i just didn't feel like it yet so but it's very interesting because I can tell when I'm doing these, it's very spotlighted on only a group of the zodiacal signs. Usually someone feels left out in the cold. There could have been loss of money. They feel left out. But someone else has this great fortune. Oh, double kings. We got a lot of kings on the board now. And this could be a combination of signs for very specific that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Great fortune of these kings. Good luck. Huh. Maybe even they feel left out in the cold. Or there was... I mean, I don't know. Good luck with them. What else? Someone's ready to... They're like taking action, like coming to see someone. This is driving. I'm going to tell you about something that was heartbreaking. See the sorrow this person lost. There is something heartbreaking. You got, there's three kings on the board. These. Why is, I mean, that makes sense. This deep personal sorrow. Something is heartbreaking, whether it be. A three party type of situation. Usually that's kind of how those things go. There's a feeling of rejection or something. Why is someone heartbroken? It's 5335. Here he comes. Okay. Is this one not being able to? This is a mental vacation. Someone needs a mental detox. Not being able to, because they're stuck in their head over something that's heartbreaking. The sorrow. They're stuck in a depression, a sadness. And it's in their inner. There's inner conflict in their head. Not being able to take a vacation or mentally clear. Um, it's something to do with the past 64. 46. Gemini's even. Um, but it's one from your childhood. Nostalgia. These are good memories though. But there's resting and healing involved. Maybe they're actually not good memories. Because if they're good memories, then why is it heartbreaking? There's a lot of that. There needs to be, there's a resting period, even sleeping, healing. This could, draining. Um, this could even be a little PTSD. Like over stuff in the past. Huh. What about this message? This heartbreak over loss and sorrow. A joker. This something could have been kind of controlling or toxic. This something new. Helping you make a decision. It could be an Aries, Capricorn, Scorpionic. But doesn't have to be. A, you know, someone trying to control. Could even be a temp little temptation but listen to your heart to help you make the decision 
about deep affection and caring and even having perseverance and standing up against opposition. Okay, 76. So this is like you've received and then you reinvest. You got to reinvest something and keep things fair and balanced with the flow, especially regarding finances and work. Keeping things fair and balanced with hmm, investments, making a decision of where to reinvest your time, your energy, your money. Discord among family and friends. There's a key to your problems, keeping things fair. And giving the nine nines. Now we're shifting through to the double nines. This is about finances, investment, above just your work, having extra, your wish fulfillment, Feel, feeling financially secure is part of wish fulfillment to your problems. That nest egg, um, a savings account, retirement, for vacation, using vacation time. Oh, and uh, the sexual matters at, during vacation time. <laughs> Whoa, Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. So, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Whoa. Nine, ten. Okay. Um, I don't know. That just made my tummy feel weird. <sighs> Awkward. There's a lot of love there. So whatever this sorrow is of loss, it's there's compassion and love. Um, let's see if we can. I'm gonna flow through one more. What time is it? Seventeen twenty-one. Oh, something is a heavy burden for this queen, even. And I don't know, maybe you're the queen listening, or you're the king in here right but um very much taurus could be capricorn or virgo but i sense a lot of that there's some heavy burden they feel like they're doing all this work to try and be prepared for protection like running around trying to do all this on their own maybe and they're st they're stressed out and that they get overwhelmed and they need a break. Okay. Or you do. Okay. Queen of Wands now coming through. So, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like, um, Aries, but I feel like this is mainly Sagittarius, maybe emotionally detached. The cancer type of energy or Pisces, Scorpionic, whatever. Um, eight. No way. You got the eights again. So it's for you. The eight eights. It's all for you. This is about your work. It's like they're trying to just focus on the work. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? There's a lot of synchronicities with this one. Mm, mm, mm. Four eights. 48. Wow. Emotionally detached. Focus on work. Huh. All right. Wow. Okay. Working towards, like, even the big boss, like, a CEO, like, they're... This is above the Nine of Pentacles, just investments. This is property. This is like, in, not necessarily inheritance, but like legacy. Property, like the business. This is like that peak of what you're working towards. A new career, a new pentacle, a new job even, a gift. 
being able to then reinvest and start new, a new business, a new career even, that you're going to love, even dealing with your family, a family business, hmm. family business, good luck and fortune, even two brothers, um, siblings, the, the air sign and the, the earth sign, juggling finances, and running around, taking the action. Okay. What else? Anything regarding the sorrow? <sighs> About a soulmate. Someone felt that that was, there was their heart broken over a soulmate. 35. Or I mean 32. 35. Mm. 5 and 8. Okay. And even I'm stuck in their heads. The 22. Even you got two two. Oh. And the 10, 10. And another nine. Wow. There could be looking in and seeing. Um, see someone stuck in their head regarding money, finances, investment. Their investments. There could be some look, stalking and looking at someone from their past, doing some healing or resting. There's new passion. This is good though. New passion for something in the past. Maybe you turned, you said no before. Because you weren't done healing. Mm. Okay. Oh boy, and that's the sexual stuff. The four fours now. This is very interesting. Okay. This is even resting and healing and focused on your home, but like, and saving money, kind of even hoarding money. Hmm. It's like you told someone tried to get you to do something with your money you didn't want to do. You're going to save it. That's a no. Keeping the money. Okay. What about this new thing? This joker. And making a decision. You're going to be victorious. Taking control. Taking lead. This message or this gift. This news that you come. It's good about being victorious. It'll help to move the make the decision on where to invest. Your time, money, effort. The communication. Yeah, 68. Look at that. Helps make a decision. Maybe it's dealing with a bully or a Taurus. Or... About the new job or new career. A pin. They're gonna send the pin. <laughs> Whoa. And there might be very much of love and compassion. Even apologizing. Even... It's like, I'm sorry for your loss type stuff. Or I'm sorry for this chaos in the family. Discord. There's love and compassion. Wow, and that's the truth. They really are. They truly. There's a lot of love and caring that comes through with this communication. It's honest. It's upright. It's about investments. It's about feeling tied down. It's like they open up. You open up and speak honestly and truthfully about fairness, about balance, compassion, love, about vacation, um, sexual matters, <laughs> even. Um, wow. Oops. And they're not moving. They're stuck on this. They're not leaving. Until they can, they, they can't leave until they, they feel like tied to having to speak this. 69, even the cancers. Um, wow. Okay, so. There's some boredom. Apathy, 64. And they want this wish fulfillment. They want to go on this, this vacation.
a family, a family vacation as part of their wish fulfillment. Huh. Okay. And they're already looking into it and taking action of where to go. <laughs> to get out of the funk, 42. Where to go, where to go. This is interesting. I hope you've enjoyed. Okay, these are the last one. We got the King of Cups again. So the Cancer. Scorpio or Pisces, but... And the Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, Feminine. This one as well. Getting together, a party, a family, a reunion even. I don't know. It's a celebration. It's a reunion. A reunion. Reunited. Wu-Tang. <laughs> yeah, 23. Oh. Someone's, they felt left down the cold. Regarding finances. Regarding money. There could be some loss of money that they need to... Even a fire. Mm. Okay. They're done. Like, they're coming out of any illusion regarding jobs, work. No more looking at options of what to do. No way. Look at all the cups again. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. This is their wish fulfillment. 79. No way, taking it back to 79, 97. <laughs> oh, boy, this is, it's taken a long time to get to this point, this stage of life. Taking it slow, bringing a gift even. These are great, and I see that King of Pentacles again. It's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but wise with the money. And the king. No way. Is this the same? Yes. Someone from your past. This is crazy. I like it. Look, look. No way. You got the king of pentacles and the king of swords again. And it's someone from your past. A childhood. Memories. Nostalgia. A friend. A relative. Cousin. There was depression about some shit from childhood. Past. Could be Aquarius. In Virgo, too. Um, wow. Someone didn't want to be foolish. Okay, that was intense. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.